Hi all, it's Kylie from Kylie's Card Craft again. Thanks for joining me today. Choose six challenge, another challenge. Here we go again, it's the next day. It's now Thursday, just home from work. This week with our choose six challenge for the Facebook group, playing with paper and glue. It's week nine. I know I've only been doing a couple of them, but it's week nine. I haven't got many weeks left. So we'll have to see what challenge we're going to come up with the next time. Right, so we've got our six prompts taken from groups A, B and C. If you go into the Facebook page, or if you're not a member, please request to become a member. We'd love to have you on board. If once you're in or you're already in, go to the Files tab, you'll find all the prompts there for our Choose Six Challenge. And... You choose two from each column so column a column b or column c or you do like most of us are doing and just follow lynn's prompts so much easier so lynn's prompts for the week ah you can see i've you know found a scrap piece of paper ticket a game or playing card washi tape key or keyhole clock and mushroom, just to chuck that in there. Okay. Now, with the two six challenge, you can make anything you like. You can do a card. You can do a scrapbook layout. You can do some ephemera. You can do a page in your journal. Anything you like. But that project needs to include all six of those. So, what I thought I'd do, and I was thinking of it on the way home from work, is I'm going to do a multi pocket envelope folio blah okay so i've just pulled out some envelopes i've pulled out some um of my book paper because you know i love my book paper and this will end up going in my australian journal that i'm about to start working on but i've started doing the bits and pieces so first things first we want two envelopes they can be any size you like this is the size i've chosen which are just a standard size um standard as in uh, not quite four and a half inches or a bit over 11 centimeters by about six and a quarter inches or 16 centimeters round about that so you know just your standard card size envelopes got the two of them what i want to do is attach two together but i want to leave this flap in for now so this one will end up going in here like so and they'll be glued down but I don't want to glue this because I want this as a pocket this will fold and then I want to have the back pocket as well so to glue it down and I'm going to glue it to start with just so that you can see where we're going get my glue working all I'm doing is putting a little bit down here and a little bit down there that's it so we'll now slide that one in again and hope not to get too much glue everywhere straighten him up so that it still folds over nicely when you go to collect envelopes just make sure quite often and i pulled out a pile of envelopes um, quite often you'll find envelopes are slightly skew with. So try and get two that match fairly well. These ones are a little bit off, but I'm not overly concerned about that too much. It's only a little bit. So by the time I decorate it, you won't really notice that. I've still got this flap out here for a reason. So I've now got this little pocket in here. I've got a pocket in here. Turn this one over. I've got a pocket down here what i want is another page on this without actually putting another envelope yes i could slide another envelope in there but what i'm going to do is now this is just a piece of basil cardstock it's a fairly lightweight cardstock not quite certain of what gsm it is but i'm going to just glue that down like that it's not quite the same color i went through a couple of different creamy card stocks and this was the closest i had 
make sure it folds over and then I'm just going to trim this one to the same size as the envelopes okay so I'm going to glue this one get my glue book out I want a bead of glue along here so I'm going to use both my glue stick and my white glue my liquid glue and the one I use is the Australian one which is a Couture Creations all-purpose art glue I find that it works really well for me and I'm just gonna go around all the way and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue stick in the center that way I know it's not going to go anyway now, I had a little bit of glue left in this one last night. So we'll finish this one off and I've already grabbed my next one out. Just a little bit in here. Right. Take that one away. And I'm, Basil has a um, textured and a non-textured. I want the non-textured side to show, so... I'm just going to adhere that down so that the textured side is against that envelope back. Make sure that that will fold beautifully. Smooth this one out. And now I'm just going to trim around it with the scissors measuring from the last envelope. Find my scissors. Oh, I'm in a bit of a rush. And I'm like this, so I'll just calm down while I'm talking. Okay. All I'm doing is matching it up so that it's the same size now as my envelopes. It was just a little bit of an off cut that I had left. All right. So I've now got that and that and that. This one... I've actually got a really pretty piece of embossed paper. I want to adhere that onto that last piece so that what I end up with is my front, pocket, pocket, my back, pocket in there, and this one. And I want a pocket on the side. I'm thinking, do I want a top pocket or do I want a side pocket? As I haven't actually started this journal yet, so I'm not quite certain of the overall height that the journal's going to be. I know, I usually get those sorts of things sorted to start with so that I've got a rough estimate. So I'm thinking I probably should do a side pocket because I can have a tab sitting out with my journal card in there. Because I don't mind if they come over. If it's too high up here, depending on what else I've got going on on the journal. So we're going to do that one. In which case, this will be adhered onto here. Just see how straight all this is and whether I can just sit you there. That's fairly good. That's fairly good. Right. So again, with our liquid glue, just like we're making a pocket. So this is the folded part. This will go down here. Try and do it fairly straight along the bottom. And then along the top, leaving that bit with no glue. Empty, I was going to say. Um, leaving that part with no glue so that it becomes a pocket. Right. Put the pin back on that one before it goes any further. If I can see and now I want to adhere that so this has a right and wrong side because it has that embossed piece and we'll just stick this one down and then I can trim this one to size as well right so I'm see how I'm holding it on on the corner with the rest lifted up in my hand, which means that I can manoeuvre it as I go, hopefully. You know, but still, fingers crossed and all the rest and see how you go. All right. That looks pretty good. 
that looks pretty good. So I can now trim this again to size. Once again, I didn't look at the time before I started. Um, I'm going 10 minutes. Okay, so it's five past four. I'll keep an eye on that. Trim back up here. Well, try and trim straight. Okay, so now I've got my basic down. So I have a front page, which I can open. So I've got a pocket, I've got a pocket, I've got a pocket, and I've got a pocket on the back. Okay, there's my basic page. You could do anything you like here. I just like this paper, so I thought I might want to use it. And it's all still in my colours. Right, so I want to pop... Some newspaper print or newspaper book print of course on the front here but with a little bit of a border i've chosen this page it's out of a i don't know what's it out of um the modern reference encyclopedia illustrated had to get it because look at that it'll make the most beautiful journal at some stage but it'll take me years to get through beforehand i want this because we have going this side hamilton which is one of, and of course, none of these ones, they're talking about Scotland and all the rest, but we actually have a Hamilton in Victoria. So as I said before, it's going in my um, Australian journal. So if I pop that down there like that, this will go up here. I'll leave a little bit of a border and then I can pop something on the front and it's still showing Hamilton. That's my plan anyway. Right, so, go that one first. I'm going to go close to the edge with that one. Try and get it straight. But I'm just going to tear it. Listen to how that tears. That is just so beautiful. All right, that'll go into about there. If I go up, I want that bottom Hamilton in there as well so we want i'll set that on there so that it's straight and then if i do it too straight then we'll know just how unstraight the envelopes are that's fairly straight and that's going to go along that line like so right so this is going to go here, like so. I'm going to go about there, and I'm going to go to about there, I'm thinking. Right, so let's sit you on that. Trying to get a straight line. Does it look straight? I can't see up here. Kind of. We'll work with kinder. I'm happy with kinder. Let's have a look. That's where that is down there. Oh, it tears so beautifully. It tears so beautifully. Right, and this one. Can anyone find my marking? I can't. Just above manor, wasn't it? Right, just above manor. That's because I was way up here. Uh, manor, 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 manor. Just above manor. I'll put that on that line. Pop you on there again. Right. There's my finished size for this one. Yep. Happy with that. <laughs> Sorry, going to have to ink it. Very carefully because it's fairly old and it will want to tear because it's got that beautiful crinkle about it. And I just want to highlight the edge where it sits on. So see how it's just lightly highlighted. Oh, so excited. 
there's a book fair in town tomorrow. Straight after work tomorrow, I'll be heading. It's on all weekend. Starts Friday, so it goes Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll be there Friday. I may even go back Sunday. Oh, can't wait. All right, that one's going to be adhered on. That way. And I'm just going to pull out the new one while I'm working on this because I don't want the edge to rasp against this and tear my paper. So when I'm doing little bits, I will finish off those other glue sticks. But because I'm using an old paper, I'm just going to use the brand new one. All right. Even around there. Let's have a look and see how we're going down here. That's looking pretty good. Move it up just a little bit. All right. Give that a push down. Okay. So there's my first page. But on my first page, my game or playing card is a bingo ticket. So see how it then all starts to come into those colours? And I want that one on the front but i want it as another flip okay so to flip it i'm going to use my washi tape but i don't want that and i don't have time to use my coffee dye on it so i'm just gonna use my antique linen and give it a little bit of a smudge up and give it a little bit of a distress so just I don't want it a full colour because even when I coffee dye, I like to go back and put darker edges on and all the rest. So I just want this smudged and then I'm going to go into my brushed corduroy, which is still sitting on my blending foam. And now I'm just very quickly roughing over it. And so see how I've now got this mottled effect like so. That's all I want for that one. So we'll just wipe some of that. And this one's going to go in here. I do want, now I'm going for, <laughs> I have the three inks, as you know. So now I'm going for gathered twigs because this is so dark around here. I want a darker edge on it. So any of your darker inks will work. I just have the antique linen, brushed corduroy and gathered twigs that sit at the top of my board all the time. I find that those three, I look, and this could be gathered twigs or walnut stain. It just depends. If one's running out, I'll grab the other one until I get a new one and vice versa, so yes. Uh, this one's gonna go in here. Now I want to washi tape that one. Now I didn't grab my washi tape prior. So I want, you might have to excuse me while I lean across, sorry got that one it's more seeds um sorry 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 my washi tape sits in a big container in front of me that might be nice that's a tim holtz one that might be nice so i want about that much what i'm going to do and especially now that i've got that distress ink sitting on there i'm just want to give it a little bit extra oomph Make sure I'm round the right way, yep. And I'm gonna put a bead of glue, maybe. Gonna put a bead of glue on the edge just so that that tape will stick further because it's gonna get some use because I'm making it into a flip. Doesn't have to go the whole of it, but enough to make sure that it won't move anywhere. And I will do the same where it attaches to the book paper. So I want it round about half and half. About there. Just take it down to about there. So once again, I'm just using my grid to make sure I can keep that straight. And then I'll trim that bit off. Find my real scissors, not my big ones, my little ones. Give 
bit of nice push down into that glue. And then I'm stuck. And then I'm going to do the same on here. Put a little bit of glue on my washi tape. For the most times your washi tape is fine, but when I'm doing it as a flip, and I know it's gonna get some use, especially in the corners, I just like to be doubly sure. Right. So this is gonna sit in here, about there. So it's round about where the hammer is. Where am I going? There, so if I straighten that again. Like so. Find my edge. That's about even. Yep. I'm gonna use my cloth because I've just already squished it all over that. Right, and that's made my flip. So I've used two from my choose six. Now this guy, I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a crease with my fingernail. Which will f that's nowhere near. Well, that didn't work, did it? A miles over, I should have been here. So, I'm gonna to have to put something else down there, but that's all right, we'll think of something and shortly, as we go, we'll think of something to go down there because it's hanging over to the side. Awesome, Kylie. We'll get something else going down there. Um, I've got, oh, I do have, I have some little black die cups that a good friend gave me and which would pick up along there and there's a look at that so it only needs something like that to give that center point back again doesn't it that one might work that would be oh hang on hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. i'm gonna have to pull them out and then they're gonna go everywhere I want some of these leaves, I'm thinking. Butterfly, leaves, leaves, that one. It, of course, the only one that's not falling out is the one that I want. That one. Look at that. See, that would work beautifully. So it, it's a little bit larger. Just very carefully sit those over there. I'm going to lose all of them, aren't I? All right, do I like that one? I like the height of that one better, but I like the width of this one. I'm gonna go that one, first things first, you know, and then maybe put a little cluster down there, but that evens that back up, doesn't it? So we'll do him now. Okay, so thank you, Lisa. These have worked a treat. And I'll use that one so that I don't get too much glue all over me. They're a really, I don't know, they're a hard card stock. They're not quite a wooden one. But yeah, I don't know what they're actually made out of. But they're just beautiful. Um, if you're, what were they? It said on the packet what they were. They were... Yeah, they were die cuts, close to my heart die cuts from the In Full Bloom collection. X7279A, I'm assuming, is the um, code for them. I think they only came in black, I'm not quite certain. But that's, yeah, and then I'll put, you know, a little cluster down there. So we'll keep going with this and we'll fold it over. Pocket, we need stuff down here. I'm gonna tick these as I go. So I've got my game or playing card and I've got my washi tape and I'll probably use more washi tape as I go. Ticket, key, keyhole, clock, mushroom. The mushroom is going to go into a little cluster because I'm just, I'm not a mushroom person. 
I have found some mushrooms, but that's as good as it's gonna get, I think. <laughs> Just, yeah. All right, so as I said, what I wanna do actually is do my other page on the back with that, because I want that front and back. Now, that one, because I've got Australia Day on that. Right, so we'll, we'll again, we'll do the same thing and we will go off that. Oh, I love how this rips. And I want Australia Day in there. So I'll just take that to just over it. And I'll see if I can rip it this way. Ooh. Right. Once again, that's going to go in there like that. That's going to go down the G. G. Like so. I'm just doing that by eye now. Yep, yep, yep. And above the end. There. So on that line. Right. That makes so much more sense. Kylie, just rip away. All right, that's going down there. I've still got my pocket in here. We'll glue that one down. Make sure that's not wet. Back onto the new glue. Right. Oh, got him. Onto this one. Push him down. All right. Just smooth him out. I didn't ink. <laughs> ah, look, see, I'm starting to get frantic because I've been 27 minutes and have used two things for my two six. We'll see if we can get this finished or not. All right. Got that, got that, got that. My pocket back there. And that one's for that. All right, so inside. Inside, inside, inside. I want key, keyhole, clock, mushroom, and ticket. I'm not going to fill these yet because I just want this ready to go into this journal. Now, by all means, something like this, you can also fold some of your coffee dyed papers, um, other sorts of papers, and stitch down here and have it like a little bit of a traveller's notebook. That works well as well, so it'll just stitch in. It'll still work as a folio in your journal like that, and you can tuck it in a larger pocket. So that is always an option, and it's something that we could do later on anyway. And I'll tend, if I'm doing something like that, I'll fold my signatures, I won't put too many in. And I'll just use my sewing machine straight down the centre. So, and then, but I'm not going to fill these pockets now. What I want to do is just decorate. Okay. Right. So, there's my little mushroom boobies. I don't need my game piece or playing card, but I might put more on there. And I've got my tickets. tickets. I pulled them out. I pulled the tickets out. How can I have lost them? I pulled tickets out. Did I put them back? No, but I have a few in there. If I can't find the others. I pulled the tickets out and I looked at all my tickets. How can I do that? Somebody, anybody? <laughs> they are not in front of me. Which means it has to be here. Oh, 
Okay. Tickets. They are. They're in that bit. Okay. And I had another lot too, which was a new lot that I'd just got. That I sat here somewhere. And I went, oh, can't wait to use those. And um, I've lost them. I've lost them. I've lost them. Oh. Oh, I've lost them. How can I lose things so easily? And I cleaned up because I had to for last night's one. All right. So we've got tickets in here like those. But I need to watch which ones I'm using because this is, as I said before, going in my Australian journal. So basic tickets like that I can use. Tickets that have other places on them I can't or so let's have a look all right that'll work and that'll work they will work so we're just going to pull out a few of these yeah see I need to watch what I'm using and my tickets and I want just up here, into here, I've got clocks. I've got clocks, so I can't use my French clocks. So I need just basic Grand Central, can't use that. There we go. Standard clocks in those colours. I do like that pocket watch, actually. I'm just going to pull a few of these out and we'll have a look. Keys. I needed keys too, didn't I? Pull out a couple of keys. Oh, look, scissors. I could have used that for my sewing challenge yesterday. <laughs> oh, and another one of those, which I never used yesterday. Let's have a look. Nothing in there. Photos. Oh, more tickets. Just in case I didn't have enough tickets. And as I said, I purchased more tickets the other day. Um, I don't think any of those are going to be Australian, though. Right. So, what I want to do is I want to go back to my book page. Because I want this all of one theme. And this one has Adelaide on it. We don't really want Addison's disease, but we do want Adelaide. So, yes, it does. I thought it would. When I was looking at it, I thought, oh, that should fit those beautifully. Yeah, lovely. So I'm going to make these a little bit smaller because I don't want adenoids, adenoids, and I don't want Addison's disease. So we'll just take that and we'll take that. And this time we'll ink it. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. I'll work out something. I'll um, put some paper along it and use my brush to ink along the edges or something, just so that it's then all cohesive and matchy-matchy. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy, but it does for me. You know, matchy-matchy. All right, this one's going to go in here. And on my other one, I have Melbourne to go on my other side. So... And down that one. Give that a little bit because it could have done with being just a little bit wider, couldn't it? Right. Oh, well, we have to have Melba. The Dame Nelly Melba. And... Yep, I'll just go above Melon so that it's the same size as the one on the other side. So I've got that one. 
and I've got that one. Thinking I want a little bit of stamped something in there because it's just, I can cover all of this, but then I've got to cut all these out and it's just a pain. And if you're going to do it, it's probably easier to do it prior to gluing these together. So if you want to cover the inside ones fully with a piece of digital or coffee dyed or whatever else, glue them on and then cut around this prior to gluing them together. Because I've glued them together already, I'm not mucking around and it would have just taken way too long. So, yeah, but it's something that you can do by all means. And it looks lovely. Envelopes look lovely when the whole thing's been covered either with a border all the way around it or without, but they will take a little bit of time. And if you know me by now, you know I don't edit or anything else. I just do. So I don't want you to have to sit here for as and as and as and as. Right, I want that there and I want that there. And I'm thinking, right, so Adelaide's way up here, Melbourne's way up here, and I'm thinking of doing little pockets down there. I'm just going to stick those on so that they don't move. Oh, Melrose. See, there's just town names everywhere. And most of these are for the English towns because a lot of Australia is named, a lot of Australian towns are named after English and Scottish places. But, you know, I'll take it. If there's a name there and it's from something else and we have it here, I'll take it. All right, so there's one. usually helps if you get the scissors out from underneath you when you're gluing. Oh, I had a horrible feeling I just glued the wrong side there. Now, about there. Does that look even? That's about right. It is now. Right. So... I want my clocks. I want my clocks. But I'm thinking they could actually be tuck spots, couldn't they? Can't find the 12. Mm. Well, there's something. Maybe I can use those. If I trim that there... I can use my ticket as a pocket. So I'm just going to cut that bit off. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Just wrap this up. I don't know where these, oh, that's actually from a piece of scrapbook paper that I've cut it out of. I know I've got a pile of these tickets somewhere, but I don't know where. And this is what happens when you don't put the lid back on your glue. Just get a piece of paper towel there. So can somebody just keep reminding me, put the lid back on the glue, Kylie, or the pin or whatever it is you're using. All right, that one's going there. I'll go down. Am I in shot when I go down this far? Yes. Long and back up. And yes, I know I didn't use the pin. Down here. I'm gonna make sure it's in that envelope part there. With any luck, that should then tuck in. Yes, it does. Have something higher than that. So on this side, I only had one lot of that, didn't I? It would look very nice if I had the two. Did I have another one in there? As they're off scrapbook paper, probably. Oh, 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 here we go. No. <laughs> My free pass one might work, mightn't it? What's that one? Oh, I like that though. That might work in there too. Just as a taller bit, right. So no. If I go that way, 
Let's just do a smaller one on this one, maybe. Tear that in half. I'm thinking, now from memory, this one came from an Etsy shop, I think. I think it was crafted by Callie, but I'm mm, fairly certain I got her tickets. Very rough. I'm going to move that over just so it's not right at the edge. Oh, my glue's running like mad today. I'm going to have to wipe that. Right. Up the right way. Up the right way. Make that into a pocket as well. Google, I love my pockets and I love envelopes. I just... You just can't get enough of them, I think, because they give you so many options. Whether you pop things in them or leave them for the recipient of your journal or whatever else, they just, there's so many options with them. All right, I'm just giving that a little bit of a squeeze, that one, so that it gives a little bit of a lip at the top, which makes it easier to get things in. So all I'm doing is just pushing it a little bit at that top section. All right. Oh, you see, and they fit in there nicely. That one I love. I'm actually thinking of popping you in there. Oh, I like that. I just want to bring it back down to my cream that I'm using because that'll also work as a journal spot. Maybe I could put a mushroom on it. <laughs> Maybe, you never know. See, there's no rhyme nor reason. I'm just picking up and grunging. I do like that. I do really like that, actually. Oh, why not? I just pick up the other ink. So then I can say I've used the three inks. Four glues last night, three inks today. I'm all over the show. Yeah, I like that. I do like that there, actually. That was that free pass. I must have bought two of those out. and admit one. We'll find something else. I've got keys to put in. Don't know about that. I'll think about that one. So, ticket. I can tick. I can tick. Ticket. Can't I? Ticket. Mushroom. Yep. Yeah. Alright. So, they're just bits and bobs. So, that's that. That's that. This one. My Australia Day, I've got... I can have this as journaling space. I've got a pocket still in here. Let's do a cluster on this. If we do a cluster, we can use our clocks and our key bits and all the rest and really cheat and put them all together. Yes? So just bear with me while I just play around. Um, a little bit of lace, because once again, I can't work without my lace. That's a nice little colour. Doesn't need much. I just want a chunk as such. I might make a cluster to go on this one. Right. Pop you in there. Just want to stretch that out. Give it a little bit of worn look. My fingers are all bluey again. I'm just playing. Just playing. Just playing and having a look. See, I've got the... Oh, I just saw that. Um, that little bit of ticket that I cut off is sitting there with some beautiful numbers on it. We could use those numbers. So there's my key. I don't know how the key actually goes in with the clock because it's not a like a grandfather clock that does a key but see now that's what I mean I've got some numbers there I'll play with this see how we go I need to do that cluster with that mushroom anyway 
That's not straight, Kylie. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't use them. That's my problem. All right. Hang on. <laughs> and a little bit of oomph. So that's starting to work, isn't it? Yes? That's starting to work as a cluster. So I want something else a little bit more in there, though. What do I have that I could pop in there? What was in these bits that I pulled out that Lisa had given me? Hang on a moment. There were leaves and there were butterflies, wasn't there? I love those. There is also very little black hearts. So, they... Ah, yep, they might work. So we'll just use the little ones. Let's try and pull them from here. I'll just pull a couple out. I'm going to have to now put these in another container, aren't I? Oh, and underneath there were the new tickets that I bought. I knew I had some others there. Right. So... I'm liking that. All right, let's just put this together before we um, lose where I was. A little bit down there, and I can't remember where it was now, so this bit in here. Oh, that was over my key, wasn't it? Like so. That bit was then over the clock. I can put some more on later on if I find it's moving. But I'm just going from about there. I think it was further up. Oh well, it's there now. A uh, little heart, which will be just on that side. Like so. And I'm going to tuck it under there if I can. Like that. And this one, I actually wanted under there, didn't I? Better do him quick. A little bit. How's that? That looks all right. So I want, I'm going to put a little bit of double-sided tape. This is just how I put my bits on my lace. So I'm going to use a little bit of double-sided tape oh. on the back of my clock. Because that'll just hold it a bit while I work out my placement for my lace. I'm just going to take it off there for a moment. Yes. All right. So what it's done is it's held those together so that I can then put on my fabric gl glue. And that's going to go up there like that. Yeah, like that. All right. So fabric glue. I'll just put dollops. Because the double-sided tape's there, it's holding that lace down where that tape is so that I can pop this on. All right, that should be enough. Ugh. I want those. And I had that on an angle so that the writing was straight. Like so. Push it down. Right, so can tick off key, clock, mushroom. Right, my mushroom's going to be a cluster, 
but on the front. I'm thinking down here like that. So you get the gist of the idea of the book. Very simple to make. It's just a matter of embellishing it. So very quickly, we'll do this cluster at the front. Now, pull out these mushrooms. Um, there they are. Oh. Right. See, I don't use them, but I have a lot. Just, yep, 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 yep. I don't know, little one. I could go a real little one. <laughs> it's there. I've got large ones. It's when I buy a pack of something and you get mushrooms and stuff in it. These are just way too big. So, I think, think these ones are little Tim Holtz ones. But they're probably a better size for me to use. Oh, that's a better colour. That brings a little bit of colour to it, though, doesn't it? So I'm thinking maybe... And this is me, so I'm going to have to use a little bit more lace or something. Oh, cheesecloth, maybe, on the front. Can't go over that because this needs to fold over. I actually quite like that colour. And now that I'm saying that, I'd like it a little bit larger, but... Too large, way too large, because all it's doing is covering that. There's a smaller size. That gives a little bit of colour, but not quite the colour. Eh, he's not as nice, is he? So maybe... Oh, look, now I'm doing... Finding heaps of them here. So, we'll go these small ones. Don't like those. Right. That one's to the side. How's that? That one will work, won't it? A little bit of cheesecloth, which I'll have sitting just here. Somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. Oh, move my chair over. There it is. Oh, see, lace. My lace drawer needs cleaning out. Right, a little bit of cheesecloth. Move those ones away. Do that up. Sit you over there. And. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. I've got actually got pile of it sitting here on my desk. I thought it was strange that I didn't. So I want a little bit of that. We are almost finished. I just want a section. Put you down. I don't want it to interfere too much with that. So I might have it going that way. That one on that side. That'll still allow that to fold. And I want a cluster again. I love my clusters. So I like... Who didn't remind me? Find the pin. There it is. Right. Done. Right, so let's go to the little add-ons. Got those ones. And let's... Oh, sorry, slight delay there. My son's just come in from work and gotta love sons. Look what he just bought me. Oh, just come creeping past my desk going shh. And he just set it on my desk. Isn't he lovely? Gotta love sons. Right, so we might do a cluster in here. So there's this, I'm gonna use some numbers. I've got my Tim Holtz numbers, my Witchcraft Do You Do numbers, and some of my Close to My Heart numbers in there. So there's lots of different sizes. They will all tie in with my bingo cards. A little label, and yeah, I might use these ones, the little tiny Timmy ones, snippets, um, just to bring in some colour again. I don't want too much colour. <sighs> I like the colour going on in there, though. You can't really read it, which is good. I think that one's... Oh, and I'd say somebody's just fallen over. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> what I think was the clothes horse falling apart. 
Yeah, it was. I've just had a thumbs up. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. I don't know whether you guys caught it or not, but yeah. Just going to sit these in here, and then I want my numbers to go in. Right. So number-wise, let's have a look. Just a little number. Number 729, and I'm going to use my scraps from these that I'd pulled off before. I'll put those in. So a stamping mat underneath and a block. Colour-wise, we might actually use the black so that it's all in there. Just grab some black ink. All right. I'd say the reason that there's noise out there is that he's come home with more Pokemon cards and was too keen to get into them. I want to find a nice bit of colour. Oh, look at that. Go down to that torn edge. Oh, yes, lovely. And then we might just tear the rest around that. Just even it up a little bit. And the same on this side. That looks about even, doesn't it? Something like that. Brings a little bit of colour to the front of it. How's that? Yes. We'll stick that down and we are done. Woohoo. So, first things first. Pulling them all back up again, now that I've worked them out. A little bit of double-sided tape underneath that one. Just to hold that cheesecloth down. I do the same with my cheesecloth as I do with my lace. I'm just going to lift that up. Pop a little bit of double-sided tape on it. Because then I can just adhere my cheesecloth under where everything is. So that one was in there like that. I'm not going too hard because I don't want to stick it to my actual folio at this stage. It was that one, wasn't it? Looking that one's going to go over there like that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. And I'll do the whole thing and then can stick the whole thing down together. Make sense? All right, so a little bit of glue. No glue. Little bit of glue. Little bit of glue. No glue. Yes, glue. All right. In there. That one's going to sit over it like so. And then this one I had sitting down here. Do I want it over there? Because I've lost my spot for it now. Thinking I'm going to have it there, actually. And I'm going to put some double-sided tape on it because it's very light and... Um, on the right size, that size. Um, it's very lightweight, that paper, and I don't want it to rip. So I'm just going to put it on like so. Trim that off. Peel him back. Like that. Right there. All right, now I'm going to pick the whole thing up like that. And now I can put my fabric glue. I'm going to put the pin back on this. <laughs> you know, there are just days you have where you just forget to put lids on because you just get in the zone. All right, now I put my fabric glue on there which will hold my cheesecloth down and we're done i've enjoyed this one actually 
and it's so easy it's really just the um the decorating that will make it seem like it takes so long which is about right um just do the lid up on that one find my tweezers Slide him off the table. Right. Now this guy's going to go down. Down there, wasn't it? There we go. Mushroom done. How's that? Big tick. Mushroom. Right. So we have got a game card with a flip. We could pop a pocket in here, have that as journaling. Got a little cluster there. We turn it over. We've got a pocket here. We've got tickets. We've got pocket here, pocket here. Turning this one over. We've got a cluster here with our clock and our key. Another pocket in here. Journaling space there. And another pocket there. And again, that can be decorated or left as is, or a pocket on that one. Again, they are very, very easy to make, the envelope folios, because it's literally, you saw the start, we're just folding them in. So I hope you've enjoyed that. This has been our week nine of our Choose Six Challenge. We have ticket, game or playing card, washi tape, key or keyhole, clock and mushroom thanks everyone for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe thank you all to everybody who's just subscribed and for those subscribers i've had with me for the entire of this journey it's been awesome thank you so much remember go on to the playing with paper and glue facebook page hope to see you all on there soon thanks guys bye